started at an early age. Um, you know, as soon as I could safely pack a firearm, my dad was taking him with me, and it just kind of elevated from there. I took it to a, a level that he never did, but he was always proud to see me do I guess he thought it kept me out of trouble. But I've been doing it my whole life. I'm 25, and I guess I've been hunting for about 20 years now.
guys Ha <laughs> ha 
them out um, this is what I came here for this is what I've heard about my whole life and the big picture of me coming to Canada wasn't all about me um, back in 2011 I lost my dad to cancer and his whole life he always dreamed about coming someplace like this to hunt or fish and uh, he never got the opportunity to so I know he was up there watching over me tonight <clears throat> and uh, he took care of us man what do you think your dad would say if he could talk to you right now? What would he say? Boone, 
I saw he miss a few ducks. I taught you better than that. Uh, that's just what kind of guy he was, you know, that's who I got my personality from. But uh, I don't know, man, he would be happy. Like I said, this was something he always wanted to do, but he was too busy providing a uh, better life for my brother and my mother and myself. He, uh, he cared about his family more than himself. And, you know, I attribute a big part of who I am and even this hunt today uh, to him. My dad got me into hunting got into hunting you know with my father uh, my dad took me out for my very first time i've always been in the blind with my dad he taught me this you know he still teaches me i was in grade nine and it was a uh, take your kid to work day so i said to my dad hey like uh, i'm gonna i'll hop in the car with you and we're all gonna go to work with you and he said okay cool we uh, we got up in the morning uh, little did i know he packed the shotguns in the back of the truck and we didn't go to work uh, we went out to the field and we uh, we went we did some skeet shooting. So that was, that was the first time I, I shot a gun, and I, ever since that, uh, I've been hooked. You know, probably one of the main things we learned from our dads was you know respect, respect for the birds, respect for the fields, respect for the farmers, respect for ourselves, and number one, respect for the guns. Always watch what you're doing. Be careful all the time. I was fortunate enough to have the family around me. I did. And, uh, you know, they groomed me when I was a little guy. I'm doing the same thing with my boy now. And uh, I owe everything to them. I don't think I've really passed anything down to him. I think he's passed it on to me. My dad took me, so I take my son. He really enjoys it. I mean, just things you, in your kid's life that you're not part of. And, but if you can get together with your son and spend time in the field with him, it's pretty special. I think the hardest thing for my father when I was, you know, growing up and he could see the love I have for the sport was to look into my eyes and tell me I wasn't old enough to take that shotgun down the field. And what I see you, Corey, doing with, with Hunter, my grandson, it's awesome. He's at that age where in another couple of years, he's going to be like Corey was. Corey's not going to be able to get out of his sight because he wanted to go with me all the, all the time. Whether it was duck hunting, goose hunting or deer hunting, I had to leave him at home. It's, I'll tell you, it's tough. I, I love hunting with my dad. Uh, I've had the pleasure uh, the last couple of years to, uh, to share the field with my old man and uh, it's probably one of the best things about waterfowl hunting, that's for sure. Uh, the family time is, is great. I've come a long way and uh, I owe everything to my, my, my father. It's, uh, you know, my family, but my, my father in particular, my grandfather, they raised me, they groomed me and uh, that's why I'm standing here today. You know, you grow up, you get out there, you know, you learn respect and you get respect. He comes down, he's still teaching me things, whether it's respect or about the game. Or I've taught him a few tricks or two now in the last couple of years, but at the end of the day, he's the Mecca and uh, that's where it stands with me. I always said to my kids, you get out what you put in. And uh, I think I'm getting out what I put in. Right now I'm getting a lot of enjoyment. <laughs> I'd be, I wouldn't be out here in Saskatchewan now if it wasn't for Corey. It's just, uh, it's nice that he involves me. Uh, I find it sometimes a little hard because I'm a, I am a little older, but all the guys accept me and that's number one with me. Ha <laughs> ha